Hey guys, it's me, Krista Bigler, your do-it-yourself and dietitian, and today I want to show you that I made fermented tea that actually tastes good. So, if you are new here, you might not know that I think fermented foods should be their own food group. So, fermented foods mean that they have probiotics, good for your gut, gut's the backbone of your immune system, you need probiotics, they're wonderful for you. Thanks for joining, Kelsey. So today... I have been, I have spent a lot of money on kombucha, which is fermented tea, so I had to learn how to make it myself. Haven't ever made any that tastes good. If you're a newbie to kombucha, I would really suggest trying this brand from, you can get it at Super Targets um, in different stores. It's live brand kombucha. I've talked about it before. This is the root beer flavor. This is like your gateway kombucha, okay? Um, some of the other ones you might not like a lot right after the, off the bat. So if you're new, try that first, okay? I have some other fermented foods for you to, to show you later. I wanted to show you my tea. How you make kombucha is you brew tea, you add like a cup of sugar, and then you add this big uh, mushroom, which is just slang. Um, it's a scoby, which is a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast. Yeah, I know, gross. Just kidding. Um, it does magical things. The sugar's not for you. It's for the um, bacteria to eat, and it ferments it, right? Because like fermentation is awesome. That's how we enjoy wine and beer and everything else, but fermented foods, tons of probiotics, and they're kind of like a special treat around here. So this is my third batch of kombucha. Basically, you stick this in a closet with um, a towel that it breathes, and um, after a couple weeks, you can take out your big old thing off the top. So <laughs> after your hands are really washed, it'll like grow a new one. So I put a little one in, and it grows a new one um, after about a couple weeks. So this is probably part of my old one. And then there's like a new mother one on top. So for now, I'm going to stick it in my, com uh, SCOBY hotel, they call this, or you just like, cause as you start to brew more of them, you get more and more of these things. So if anyone needs one, ask me and I'll mail you one. Okay. Cause that's what you, that's really the only thing you need to get started. So this kombucha is really, really simple. Basically, I should be testing this first, but I'll test it afterwards. I fer over fermented it because when I put things in a closet, I tend to forget about them, right? Um, but so I'm just going to add a little more fruit juice. All you do with this is kombucha tea, which by itself, this is going to be pretty stout, and then some kind of juice. I have Trader Joe's mango lemonade, and everyone is crazy about this when I've made this kombucha. So I pour it into a Pyrex mixing glass or a uh, you know measuring cup and then I just pour it into like reusable containers and I'm not gonna pour too much in because I want to pour a bunch of or like you're supposed to add a couple ounces to the top and then you have to give it some headroom because it can get bubbly and expand um, and so you need to give it a little headroom at the top so I hadn't wanted to give it plenty of room I'm just reusing old bottles and then to make it bubbly you can do a second ferment, which means you're going to leave it sit out on your counter for a couple more days and ferment some more and let the kombucha work on the juice a little bit and it'll start to get bubbly and then you can put it in the fridge. Oops, backwards. Tea first, then juice or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So this is my super simple kombucha recipe that is really good. I have to try some other ones, root beers and things, but sometimes you get overwhelmed by looking at too many options. So I wanted to keep it super duper simple. So that's that. Um, I wanted to show you a couple other things I finally got around to this week for fermentation because fermented foods are amazing. And I've been meaning to ferment veggies for about a year. I made some salsa. All I did was open a can of tomatoes and put in some Mrs. Wages um, salsa mix and then added, I have a recipe I can post it. If anyone's interested, comment below, let me know. Um, you use this uh, starter culture stuff, Caldwell's. You can get it on Amazon and then you leave it sit out for a few days and your salsa gets really bubbly and effervescent. So enjoy salsa and improve your health, right? How awesome is that? So I've got fermented salsa and I just tasted it and it's a little effervescent on the tongue, but it's great. And then this one's jicama with orange slices. So this is the crazy science experiments going on in my kitchen. If you thought this was helpful, go ahead up to the top of the page and click like or share it with your friends if you have any kombucha loving friends. But if you're new to kombucha or fermented foods, lots of types of fermented foods, really good for your gut because um, uh, they have probiotics in them. Probiotics are good bacteria that you actually have to ingest. And um, anyway, so here's a really good 
Gateway one called Live, um, and this is the root beer flavor. And that is all I want to tell you about today. So if you have any questions, post them below and I'll answer them. And if you want to have any other specific recipes, let me know that as well. You guys, it wasn't so bad. Like it seems like a crazy process, but it's really not that bad. So you guys have an awesome day.